these professional athletes, like, you know, if they're they're supposed to be inside, but if you know, technically, if their business fails, you know, if because you know, if your business fails because of you know this the, because of the Carnosaurus Rex, you know, you're gonna get some type of bailout, some type of assistance from the from the from the peoples, right? But I mean, you know, if their business, which is their physical body, bail out, if if that don't really, you know, if that don't, you know, what I'm talking about, I think y'all know where I'm getting. If that fails on them. If they don't keep themselves in some type of shape, then this NFL season that we all hoping that we're going to have in the back of our minds is going to be kind of weird, right? But, yo, I get it, though. I get it. I don't want nobody to think that I'm not with social distance. I am 100 with it. My kids don't do it no more. I'm telling you right now, they ain't going. You know what I'm saying? They just, congratulations, you get to play Fortnite more. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, like I said, they not my kids don't need a bailout if their business don't work. You know what I'm saying? Like if Des is sitting at home and Des says, you know, I'm not gonna stay in the house and I'm not gonna do absolutely anything, you know, because you know I want to make sure that I'm safe in my little my you know that I don't get the virus. You know what I'm saying? And then when all this is clear, and then you're not in shape, and everybody's looking at you like, bro, what you been doing for the last three months? You haven't been playing football. It's kind of like a weird pickle that you're in, right? It's kind of like a weird pickle that you're in, right? So it's like, yes, I do understand social distance. And yes, I do understand that you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. But I also understand that there will be no bailout for Des Bryant. There will be no bailout for free agents who are not in shape and ready to play when it's time to go. There will be no bailout for those guys. There will just be teams that they will be missing and – and that's just the opportunities that they're going to have. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this, man. I, I feel like this. If two, if a bunch of millionaires want to ensure that they are all healthy and want to come in together in a secure location, unfortunately, y'all, West Coast, I don't have a problem with it. You want to know why? Because I literally bought, like, like, I bought a Ferragamo belt, right? Like, I literally bought a Ferragamo belt. And it got delivered on time. Like, I went on the shop. I went on the I went on the dang website, like I was I liked the belt, I saw the belt, and it got delivered on time, like within three days, like they said on the website. And I'm not I mean I'm gonna wear the belt, you know, at some point, you know, when I have somewhere to go. But I'm just thinking about the guy who, you know, who had to actually go inside the warehouse and get the belt and then put it in the box. I'm pretty sure there was another guy in the box that probably had to hand him the belt. And then that guy probably had to roll the belt up and hand it to another guy that's in the in the in the warehouse. And then I'm pretty sure there's someone in a computer room. You guys get what I'm saying? It's like like I feel like there's this huge, huge contradiction going on in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be the guy who says it, but I'm just saying, I'm just like, you know, I really didn't need the belt. And I didn't even think, like, honestly, I didn't even think I was, like, I, I didn't think I was going to get the belt within three days. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't even planning on that, but I did. And now I have a brand new belt, nowhere to go with it. But I'm just saying, I just don't think that that's, uh, I, you know, if, if the NFL is going to find them, I mean, then, you know, obviously they can do that. But it's like, you know, I just think it's a huge contradiction to have this little 17-year-old kid up here delivering from Amazon but then a multimillionaire can't go hang out with another multimillionaire and catch some footballs if they all understand that, you know, that they don't have the virus and they're not, I, I just, you know. What's up with you guys? It's your boy, West Coast. Yo, in 2020, I've teamed up with my hot boy, Jalen Smith, number 54, to bring you guys some of the most exclusive eyewear known to man, CEV. I mean, everybody's wearing them. Make sure you guys go over to CEVcollection.com today and use promo code CEV. West Coast to get yourself a hot boy discount today.